as a teenager and for many years I had this perception of myself as one who wasn't enough I concluded for some reason that I wasn't enough and I didn't even know how I came to that conclusion but I believe profoundly that I wasn't enough that I wasn't good enough I wasn't smart enough I wasn't big enough I was really tiny so I thought I didn't have big enough booty or big enough legs my hair was not long enough I wasn't light enough because kids at school used to tell me that I was too dark and I had a big forehead and my legs were too thin my body looked like that of a man so I came to this conclusion that I wasn't good enough I wasn't beautiful enough to fit in and I wasn't rich enough to fit into the world of the wealthy and later in life I realized that I came to that conclusion because I was comparing myself to others I was comparing myself to those I thought or perceived were better than I was I was my focus my outlook was out of myself and I used what was out of myself to define who I was and that's where I was going wrong. I used what was out of myself, the outer world, to define who I was. Because I didn't know that who I was was the perceiver of what was perceived. And then I didn't realize that the perceived is inferior to the perceiver. Meaning that the one who perceives is always greater than what is perceived. And later in life, I realized that coming to a conclusion, any conclusion that is self-defining is a result of comparing ourselves to others. Any time and every time you look out of yourself, you take your focus from yourself out into the world and start comparing where you are with other people's positions or statuses. Start comparing your image to other people's image. Start comparing your income to other people's income. And then concluding that yours is not enough, or your image is not good enough, or your house where you live is not good enough. And then that's where the problem begins. Because then you are basing your standards on other people's standards. You are basing your own standards, not authentically. You're creating standards unauthentically because you are letting the outer world influence your inner world. So the way you define yourself is by comparing yourselves to others. And what makes you think that whoever you're comparing yourself to, whoever you're comparing yourself to, is better than you what makes you think that they are better how did you come to that conclusion that they are better how did you pick up things about them and confine them and use them as a description to come to a conclusion that they are better than you how do you know what is in their world I'm here to tell you today that if you think you're not enough turn your gaze and your focus back to yourself and when you do that, you realize that who you are is greater than what you see and how you define yourself. Besides, you can't define yourself because you're undefinable. You can't base on your body and what it looks like to define and conclude on what you really are. You are in your body. And you are beyond your body your body is in you as well that's why you can close your eyes and use your mind to travel in the past in the future to travel from town to town and from continent to continent because in spite of the fact that you're restricted by your physical body you can still your mind you can still get out and use your mind to move to places meaning that even your body cannot confine you so you're unconfinable so you're more than enough just because you feel like your body is big too big com because you compare it to compared it to people's people's bodies who are smaller than yours doesn't mean that you are not good enough it doesn't mean that you're not beautiful enough it doesn't mean that you're not thin enough it only means that you perceived yourself wrongly delusionary actually insanely because who you truly are cannot be defined so i encourage you to shift your focus back into yourself i know that within you are 
inexhaustible resources and powers that are beyond enough your world your life cannot even accommodate what you have it's more you have your life okay so you have your life meaning that the life that you feel although is killing you the life that you feel although oh my god this life is horrible it's yours and you are this life actually because you're multi-dimensional so what you have can't be greater than you you are the one who has it meaning that you're more than anything you see perceive think about compare yourself to you have powers such as the power of choice the power of your attention your willpower which you can actually surrender and dissolve into the the willpower of god which is your true authentic self but that's another story you have the power of silence the power of contemplation the power of patience the power of perseverance the power of persistence the power of um so wishful thinking you have the power of creativity you can go within and create and visualize you can think in and out you can feel good you can think you can do be whoever you want to be on the inside because you choose you have the power of choice and you can use your attention you can shift it from place to place from person to person from yourself outward and inwardly you have the power so you can't define yourself according to what you have you can't compare yourself to what you have because you have it it can't have you unless you give it that power so you are enough more than enough because you're more than what you see like i said you're indefinable undescribable untouchable you are beyond the thing you can't be compared to anything else because you are not a thing you can't be defined because you are not a form you can't be compared to anything else that, that like i said because you're the one who perceives things remember the perceiver is greater than the perceived you see the sky can never compare itself to birds or planes and the planes and birds can't fly without the sky without the bird without the sky the planes and birds can't fly they can only fly because there is a sky meaning that there is nothing in your world without you you are the sky in which everything in your world flies without you there is nothing else in your world you are the supreme of your world you're the spirit your purity your superior in your world you're the king of your world you're the creator of your world you are above and beyond and even above and beyond your world because you're like the sky of all the birds and the planes and the dust and the toxins and the beauty and the sense in your world you are the space within which everything dwells and the space is more powerful than what dwells in it actually there is nothing that exists without space without space everything will be matter compacted to each other and you are that space we are that space just expressing differently as you wear a different dress we are expressing consciously in different spaces but there is no me there is no you we are just expressing differently for experience for fun which is god is nature just to have a little bit of fun so i just want you to remember who you truly are my dear friend you are more than enough so don't let the world deceive you don't let the world pull you into itself besides there is only one earth but billions of worlds okay your world is your world everyone is world is their own world created delusionally but in the actual sense there are even there is even no world it's all perceptions and creations and programmings but in the middle of it all is god who is who you are an extension of god a spark of god a child of god that is the only truth that is the spaciousness that is the indefinable beyond space of who you truly are so don't let this temporally delusional passing changeful things determine and get you to perceive yourself to be what you see perceive feel have been told or programmed or programs within you you have the world the world doesn't have you 
you are more than enough actually beyond enough because you are the perceiver of everything don't let what you perceive be you you are superior you are more than enough you are more than enough never forget that